What people, Von Red One here, and got some cool news. Um, Sony has officially confirmed that PlayStation 2 emulation is coming to the PS4. So yesterday, Digital Foundry put out a video and an article saying how with the new Star Wars Battlefront console bundle, you get um, a certain amount of um, PS2 games, PS2 Star Wars games. And they started playing those and they realized that the way it was running, the way it was set up, it had to be emulation. They pretty much did a um, test on it and they found out that it is in fact, at least they suspected and it's proven to be true, emulation. It um, gives the game a slight resolution raise like normal games were like 480p and um, some, some were even lower than that for PS2 and the new games are, let me find the specific resolution, the new games are now, at least for the Star Wars games they were testing, 1292 by 896 so that's above 720p so it gets up upscaled to that it also gets um a new kind of um filtering around it because the image quality overall looks a lot better and it gets a frame rate um increase like what would normally struggle on ps2 is now sticking to 60 a lot better and it has the um amplification of trophies so they saw this and were like this has to be emulation because not only was it not really remaster quality but it was also showing um when you load the game showing the memory card system and if they were to make a game now they would um remaster a game they would take that out so i know for like example the jack collection on ps3 it would say now saving to the ps3 hard drive instead of saying not saving to the um ps2 memory card so they did that it's not 1080p like they said it was possible but who knows maybe it could reach that this is just a test they also did not put out any advertising for this at all because um, it took Digital Foundry to make a video on it to bring up the subject again. So then Sony got um, questioned about it the other night and they officially confirmed to um, Wired.com that they are working on emulation for PS2. Well actually their, their specific words were, we are working on utilizing PS2 emulation technology to bring PS2 games forward to the current generation. They also said we have nothing for it to comment at this point in time. So pretty much they put out the Star Wars thing as a test. They want to see if, how, how it works, how people react to it, and not even long after it's been released, people already know, oh, this is emulation, definitely. So now it just comes to the matter of, is this going to get better, or is this what's going to be pretty much standard? Because to be honest, this is really good. I'm glad they're adding backwards compatibility. PS2 era was one of the best eras. I don't care what anyone else says. I can't wait to play certain games like that. But at the same time, you might be, you're probably still better off using the um, what's that PS2, PS2 PC thing called? The um, PCSX2. That that still looks better as of now because you can play those games at like 4K 60. At least I think someone someone said you can play them on 4K, but I know you can guaranteed play them at um 1080p 60. So. As of right now, that's better. And of course, not everybody's going to use that on PC. So this is still a good thing to add to the console. Um, I mean, hell, if I can play Ratchet Deadlocked on this and not the PS3, because that PS3 version of Deadlocked is total ass. The port is bad. The frame rate's bad. The video has a glitching problem where the characters don't stop moving. It's If I could play Deadlocked on the PS4, like the PS2 version of the game, with better vision, with um, higher resolution, and the solid frame rate, oh hell yeah, I play that over the PS3 version in a heartbeat. And with, and with like vibration and with trophies, hell yeah. Multiplayer, hell yeah. So that's why I'm looking forward to this, because those are certain things you can't get on the um, emulator on PC. You can't get trophies, and you probably can't play multiplayer. Now we don't know if multiplayer will even be in this. It could be, it might not be, but either way, this is what they've said. Maybe we can hope to um, get an official, um, well it's already been announced. We can hope to get more info on it at PSX. That could probably be their um big announcement to um, counteract um, what Microsoft announced it on E3. So uh, yeah, as of right now, the games using PS2 emulation are Super Star Wars. Wait a minute. No, Super Star Wars. Not Super Star Wars. Je Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, Star Wars Racer Revenge, and Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Those are, um, yeah, three of those are on the PS2, yeah, Super Star Wars is like on the Super NES, so yeah. 
as of right now you download them so no confirmation if you can use a disc I doubt they would do that to be honest because it could probably work but let's be honest some of these engineers are incompetent fools so that probably, that's probably too much for them to handle so um yeah really good news from PS2 fans I'm excited actually if they put the games I want on there that's the next thing um well yeah on that note I'm out let me know how you feel about this in the comments section and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to that one nation under PC and PlayStation.